In this video, I'll demonstrate how to make an artwork in the style of artist Charles McGee. Charles McGee is known for a 70 year long career in art. He often created drawings and paintings, but is well known for his very tall sculptures, and many of them are found in Detroit, Michigan. First, we need to make some lines on our paper. Two of these lines are very tall, and they can be a little bit wavy. Use your crayon to go back over the line to make it thicker. Color next to it to thicken it up. Once you've made your two wavy lines near the edge of your paper, turn your paper and make six more lines that look like curvy shapes. Keep using your crayon so that the line is thick. When you're done drawing, you should have eight thick lines. The video is sped up, so please take your time while drawing. Go ahead and try it. Before we draw different patterns and designs inside those lines, we're going to make a base for which we will glue the shapes onto later. Fold your black paper in half and then put glue on one side. Please don't use too much so that it squirts out like a sandwich. Use a few lines. First, you have to peel away the old dry glue. Then twist the cap open. If your bottle's almost empty, let it fall towards the tip before squeezing. As you draw your lines, only squeeze about half the amount and then quickly make some zigzags or swirls or straight lines. Shut your paper so that it is glued together. This will make your paper more sturdy. Set it aside and now let's look at the style of the sculptures of Charles McGee. The sculpture on the top left is filled with tons of bright colors. Think about using different colors in each shape and instead of coloring, add lines and patterns and repeating shapes. There's an idea sheet to the left which shows some um, ideas you can look off of. Notice that I used the marker in two ways. I turned it sideways for a thick line or I used the point with my marker going upright for a skinny line. Sometimes you have to smooth out the line to make it a little more even. There's a thick line, now I'm smoothing it out. And there's a skinny line. Oh, that's a thick line too, sorry. <laughs> Just keep filling each shape with tons of different lines, patterns, shapes, be creative. Make sure you finish the shape before you switch colors. Have fun drawing.
Okay, time to cut our paper. Follow each black line with your scissors by cutting out one shape at a time. Use the part of your scissors closer to the handle and slowly close your scissors as you make your cuts. This will make your paper more smooth. When you're done cutting, you should have about eight shapes. Next, arrange the smaller shapes against the black background. Put some of your shapes down flat against the black paper. When using glue, use the right amount, not too much, but just enough to hold it on. Small dots work fine. All of my shapes were flat, but you can have a couple of these bend upward. In a moment, I'll show you how to fold little feet on the end and then put glue underneath to make it look like it's bending like a bridge. The two longer strips work well for this. First, find the end, pinch it closed like a little rectangle at the end. By making the fold, it'll help it stand up later. Do the same thing on the other side. Now bend it in the middle a little bit, flip it upside down so that the bottom of the feet are showing and put glue dots on the bottom of each. If your glue doesn't come out right away, you might just have to let the glue fall out the, the hole and let gravity bring it down to the cap. Some students squeeze and squeeze their glue so tight, but nothing comes out yet because the glue just didn't make its way to the cap yet. So that's a little tip with glue bottles. You can also have the feet point inward. This one, the feet look like they're underneath the bridge, and on the other one, the feet look like they are outside the bridge. I hope you had fun on this colorful Charles McGee sculpture. Can't wait to see your artwork.